Hello everybody, I'm Chris Solds. I'm Dan Hitt. And we're here with an exquisite edition of Box Busters. It's a... Finally. Finally. <laughs> a 2011 is what I was going to say next. Exquisite Box Busters. Even though it's late August. Of 2012. 2012. That's correct. August, yes. Now that throws me off a little bit. Technically the football Check card season out. ends around the draft time or just before or after. A little, little tiny knife. Ooh, I did it the hard way. Yeah, these... Yeah. These are but well they are a little light. sealed, very well sealed. So I'm going to carefully, methodically open this one. It's got little gold seals on the outside that are sliced open with our handy dandy pocket knife. The Texas toothpick has a temper tamper proof seal where if you yep. pull it, it will tell you it has been it's, avoided. Sounds like a metal tin inside. Yeah, there. it is. Okay. Trying to destroy the box as I open. Careful. There we go. Trying to be careful opening this thing. It's not easy, actually. It's actually sealed. Uh, an exquisite presentation. It looks like the box should open this way, but it doesn't. <laughs> it opens oh. on the end, so it's a little tricky. So it's kind of glued along the edge here. And oh. inside the box is a tin. Inside the tin is a is box. Another tin? That'd be, that'd be cooler. It's a, well, maybe there's a little tin inside this box. That'd be a cool. box tin box. They're like little yeah. Russian, you know, Russian dolls. Yeah. Their right. Baseball or football cards that's somewhere in the middle inside. Uh, ahead of you. It's just a stack of loose cards. There you go. Stack of loose cards, sir. And this is the uh, some thick college ones. version. And exquisite. I have an I've some type of here. black card, as evidenced by the. Well, Stock it, as is, well as a booklet card, but I don't want to give it away. I kept the book side on my side. All right, one pack at a time. Yours first. I got a plug too. <laughs> okay, here we go. My top card is a base card out of 75. Steve Young, BYU. Very, very thick stock, as the exquisite brands almost always are, or always are. Mm -hmm. There's the back. My second card is a draft pick from this year, Brandon Whedon, and it's numbered out of 99. Just like they did last year, they have the current draft picks in it, meaning 2012 draft picks and mm -hmm. the 2011 product, which is a little wheels off. Are they, hand, but do you know offhand if, if one is a, like, that could be a parallel based on the coloring, but I don't know since it's a rookie. If I'm not mis mistaken, the, well, there is a parallel, and I think this is bronze. I, I can't okay. read the serial numbers. It's the higher, bron yeah, actually. bronze is at 99, and the silver version right here is a parallel. Oh, that's a base card. Sorry. There is a parallel version of this. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. And I believe it's silver. I so haven't the really looked at at 99 the, uh, is the base. Okay. Drag pick cards. How about an on card autograph, as always as is always the case with this uh, yeah, line? It's a nice looking card. Right? Legacy signatures out of 45, Earl Campbell mm -hmm. on card, of course. Nice. Earl, the Tyler Rose Campbell's always a good uh, retired player to get. I have a card. redemption in this in this box as well. Mm, yeah, that hurts. A football signing day number to fifteen card of AJ Green. Okay, I'm That's trying not to read the uh, fine print there. That could be a solid card. Could be. Assuming that AJ Green signs. <laughs> she should. How about an upper deck black? Insert signatures. Blaine Gabbert, numbered out of 60. Just like several Upper Deck products in other sports, especially hockey, uh, for exquisite football, they've inserted UD Black inserts. Presumably, right. this would have been its own standalone product. Right. This but, helps continue uh, the brand or the name, you know, until they bring it back at a later date. Yes, but they clearly got these uh, hard signs, so uh, they were a nice addition for exquisite to round out the autograph. Insert and they are here. they are marked 2011 just like everything else. Um, the actual packaging is is also marked as 2011 mm -hmm. on all the legalese like the fine print. How about a autograph patch card out of 135 signed on card of Daniel Thomas out of Kansas State? <clears throat> and my final card is pretty cool. It's a booklet with uh, two pretty solid players, two pretty solid programs. How about a dual, let's see, it's numbered out of 40, a dual booklet of Christian Ponder and Ryan Mallett. Hmm. Okay. 
Nice looking card. Yep. There's lots of color on that card. That's really cool. Two quarterbacks with little bit potential. I haven't really looked at the breakdown, so I don't know how common booklets are, whether they're in every box or not. But uh, uh, if it was like last year, you're, close. yes, you're going to get them in every box or very close to every okay. box. That's right. All right, very solid. Uh, nice selection of cards. Yeah, it's a fun break. Not sure. It's going to set you back about 500 bucks for packs. Not sure exactly if you got five hundred dollars worth of cards. Probably not on that one. Uh, well, it's hard to say. <laughs> you never know, though. It's That's not the thing, uh, yeah. obvious, but you could possibly squeeze a, a five hundred out of that thing. All right, let's go with my uh, my pack. Uh, Paul Hornig, base card number to seventy-five. Gotta love the Notre Dame stuff. And my uh, twenty twelve draft pick, bronze number to ninety-nine, is Jerron Kreiner. And my first uh, of a run of autographs here is an endorsement to Jake Locker on card autograph, number 75. Really cool looking autograph. I want to say that's just a regular uh, Sharpie that they use, but for some reason it really pops off of there. It's almost like a paint pen. <clears throat> really jumps right off of the card. So I don't know if it's a combination of the background and the pen, but that's a really cool looking autograph. It almost looks nice printed on there. Yeah. Uh, how about a rookie autograph patch of uh, Randall Cobb, number 135, with a nice gold pin on card autograph? And these are event used jerseys in most instances. Um, I think there are some game used jerseys here and there, but most of them are going to be the, the replica variety. Yep. And remember, the rookies are, are referring to 2011 rookies, so uh, that's why we've got uh, Randall Cobb on there. My UD Black signature is Blaine Gabbard, another nice on-card autograph, serial number of 60. Nice silver paint pen, cool yeah. looking card. It does look like there's, nice a, there's paint pens on this, because the locker definitely does. It looks like it jumps off the card, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it, that's definitely a paint pen for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which makes the card look great, mm -hmm. uh, as long as it's not smeared or anything. Okay, now I've got a really nice Ensemble 2 dual autograph number to 25. Of Jim Kelly and Bernie Kosar. And here you can see Jim Kelly, I think, signed in the paint pen, like you're saying. Yeah. And yep. Kosar signed more like a Sharpie. And sort of soaked in. Depending on, yeah, depending on which angle you're looking at, you can see the difference. The That's Kelly really jumps off the card. That, that looks super, super sharp. Deja vu. All right, and so for my my <laughs> final card, my rookie bookmarks dual autograph number to forty. Uh, I think that matches yours. It does. So maybe and exactly. And as does this too. In the Gabbard did too. Yeah, I've got also a Christian Ponder Ryan Mallet number to forty dual autograph. And yours is also forty. It's not a different version. Nope, it's out of forty. They, they look 19, almost identical. 26. Here, I'll put mine over here. You put yours over here. <laughs> So for those that say that we get seeded boxes sometimes from... I don't think they want to plan that. Not, not true at all, yeah. by any means, I don't think. Uh, we get uh, lucky or unlucky, just like anybody else that gets boxes. Um, Upper Deck would not have deliberately planned this, I don't <laughs> <No>. think. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. But, but uh, are ours consecutive? No, they're not consecutive. Not even back-to-back numbers, back numbers yeah. No, uh, Overall, but, though, but that's... Very similar boxes. Yeah. Very, you know, nice-looking product. Uh, thankfully, it closes out the 2011 football card season. Mm -hmm. This is by far the latest regular season product, latest in the year, that I've, I can ever remember right. uh, in years of doing football cards. Uh, I think there's maybe one exception, 2004 Ultra, if I'm not mistaken, but that was some weird circumstances where the printer essentially confiscated the whole product and waited for a year, a year and a half before it was released. But under normal circumstances like this exquisite, this is by far the latest. Uh, we already have some dozen or so 2012 football products out. Yep, yep. Uh, so this is kind of reminiscent maybe of more of hockey than football yeah. because hockey trickles over into the next season oh, yeah, no doubt. regularly. I mean, typically the typically the season is over just before, just after the draft. I mean, so that that give you an idea of yeah. Exquisite usually comes out in March, and even March 
had been historically pushing it pretty late. Yeah. But this is, uh, you know, another five months after March. <laughs> so, having said all that, we'll see how it does. I think... Um, the college you know, ties, it makes it a definite alternative to everything else out there. I mean, there's not a, there's not much like it in terms of visuals, in terms of... Because everything else is pretty much pro sets. There are, you know, Upper Deck is the only CLC company, so the products that are out now, they, they won't have much college presence. So that's a little bit, you know, one thing that makes this one unique to... Mm-hmm. At least in coming out late, so right, or at least all the draft pick sets are not uh, since they're not licensed through CLC, they're not. Uh, they don't feel exactly the same. Exactly, yeah. exactly. They don't have all the logos, and they're not quite as college intensive. So if you collect, you know, a particular college, this is going to be appeal to you a lot more than maybe some of the draft pick sets. Well. Despite our having very similar cards twice, I think your Bernie Kosar, Jim Kelly, no puts you over the top yep. as, as the winner here. Yep. So that's a guy clear. I was thinking. No yeah, question. I mean, but all, overall, though, there is some really fun stuff and exquisite with with the college colors and the, the player selection. Um, yeah, tons so. of on card autographs, and like we said, the, some of the autographs really pop off the card. Yep. Uh, so, you know, we, we'll see how it does as far as a really late year release. Yeah, it could be interesting. Cards look nice. All right, well, that's all I've got. That's I'm Dan. He's Dan, and I'm Chris. We'll see you next time. <laughs>